yo, while I, while he was talking, I had a question in my head. No All of a sudden, poof, it disappeared. Like snap. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Sita. Welcome back to my house. And I'm here with a special guest. I'm here with. Daddy Pope. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> but you knew that. So, how do you feel being here in New York? Like, how's it been for you? It feels good. I feel like the timing was right. I feel like I came in a good time of the year as well. The weather's been beautiful. I think that's also added to my trip being nice. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I came for how my first at summer stage. And mm -hmm. That went up crazy. First of all, because you've done a lot with Showdown Camp, so tell us about your relationship with Showdown Camp. Um, I see them as I see them as like you know a family thing, really. You know, I started making music when I when I started making music in Nigeria. You know, they were there to kind of like point me in the right direction. So mm -hmm. I, we've always maintained our relationship, like even as our careers have progressed in different directions. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we all started Palm Wine together, Palm Wine Music. That pressure in Lagos six years ago, and now we're in New York, so it means a lot to us. That's so fire. What's been your favorite show so far? Palm Wine Show? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I would say, I want to say 2021 Palm Wine was my favorite. Yeah. Wine. That was crazy. That was in Lagos, right? That was, that was in London. London. Um, well, my favorite one was the first one uh -huh. because my mind was just blown. Then the London one because I didn't I missed the very first London one I made on the second and it felt like the audience missed me. Yeah, you know, so <laughs> they were waiting for you. Yeah, so I think that feeling was great. Yeah. That's lit. That's lit. That's lit. But how was the New York show specifically? Like, how'd I mean, that go? You know, I just think that it's different to do it here in Yankee because, like, in you know, in America, like, this is this is this is. It just shows you how far the music has gone. Yeah. Really. Now that it's kind of entering this market, you know, it's a big deal that it got to, to the UK. The UK is closer than us, mm -hmm. you know, and America's further away to yeah. be having the hours to get here. So to, to see that the music is soaked in, and also because you know we like this thing that we're doing. You know, when we started doing it, it didn't. It was definitely not a mainstream thing. Mm -hmm. you know? So the fact that that this kind of sound has caught on beyond the borders of our country is really great. So. How do you feel like? When you look into the crowd and you see like all these people yelling out your name, yelling out your lyrics that you wrote, like how does that feel? I mean, that would always feel good. I mean, like to be honest with you, it's, it's so many things because there's a part of you that is insanely humbled by it. There's another part of you that is grateful. There's another part of you that's a little bit like you know, it's validation. Mm -hmm. Like I knew, I knew that what I what I felt was dope, what I felt was good, and now you know that validation. There, of course, it's that little bit of arrogance too. Like, it's me, they're calling me. Like, you know, <laughs> it's my name, like yeah, Paul. My name is my exactly. Name, like, it's not you know another name. So um, that is always a good thing, and I feel like um, it, it makes. I want to give that energy back. To yeah. Crowd. So your name, Laddie Paul. Where did that come from? My name. My, name, my, name, my, my artist name came from my name, mm -hmm. which is, my name is Lagipo. Uh -huh. It's the same name without the E at the end. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Though. How did you get into this? Say it first. No, go ahead. Huh? Say what? Lagipo. 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 Close. Lagipo. Lagipo. You guys always do that. <laughs> whoa, whoa. They like, I can't. Oh, sorry. This is a lot of that. Who does close? What's the place? Ajibo has lived. Lifestyle. Um, yeah, you were asking me how did I get into music? Yeah. I don't know. To be honest with you, it was not something that I knew was going to happen. Like I didn't grow up like writing bars. I didn't grow up like you know just, just like everybody else listening to music in mm -hmm. Nigeria. And, and you know, from when I was growing up, it was a bunch of different you know music that we were hearing. Local music, music coming from Africa but outside of Nigeria. Music come from from you know the, the West. You know, American music for sure. You know, rock music, hip hop music, so a bunch of different things. You know, so that really was like the whole vibe of all the all the what's the word? Maybe the versatility of the kind of music I listen to. Right. But I don't know when it all kind of like soaked in my head, and and I started to like write my own music. You know, mm -hmm. when I when I got, got to university, I started to write my own music. So. It was a surprise to me, and an even bigger surprise to my family. I think they're both that surprised now. Yeah. <laughs> that's lit. 
that's so different that it just randomly came up. But that's pretty cool though. Yeah. Who's your biggest inspiration when it comes to music? Like who inspired you? Uh, I found that that question so hard to answer because like you know like I think as an artist like literally all those things I mentioned like the, the music I was listening to, the stuff I used to watch on TV, the stuff that that was there, everything, it, 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 it sort of just is archived in your brain somehow. Yeah. And it just forms like your bed of your well of inspiration. Mm -hmm. I can't say there's one thing that pushed me to music or made me feel like this is the way I want to do it. Um, but I think for me, my biggest inspiration for pursuing music is how I feel when, I, when I'm doing something that has to do with music feel this huge sense of like accomplishment, fulfillment and uh, you know the thing about those kind of th things you always want to feel that way about whatever you get exactly. your hands on so like yeah that, that pushed me there but I mean of course there's a lot of big big especially rappers that that I look up to you know, mm -hmm. from from Jay-Z from the Jay-Z's and the Nas's all the way down to like the um, the Travis's and down to, to, uh, to the Drake's, you know, and even further now some, with some of the guys that are popular because that whole, that's such a wide range of parties that I mentioned between that and that, so much has happened. Exactly. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, I, I'm, I don't have one inspiration point. I'm just mm -hmm. a product of my environment, really. Yeah. You're always saying in all your songs, but you knew that. <laughs> and I want to know, what is it that they what do? What is it that they do? What is it that they do? Um, what did we know? I remember I started saying that even before, like, anybody knew me or knew whatever <laughs> that was. And I think it was just, that's how I felt. I felt like, I felt, I felt unique. I felt very much me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I felt like, I was at the point where I would get to the point where my voice, my style, my influence, my impact would be so distinct that the minute you hear the beat or you hear my voice, you know who it is. So we came, we came like that. It's like it first because I didn't used to say Ladipo because when I started, I was Po. Mm -hmm. You know, it was Ladipo that came later on. So it's like it was Poe, but you knew that it was Po, but you knew that. Mm -hmm. It's like you know, you know, it's your guy. That's interesting. So. When did you decide to switch from pole to Lani pole, like, <laughs> when, or it just happened? When, when I got some, when I got an email from the lawyers, that's what I said. <laughs> I, mean, like, I started as I started as pole uh -huh. because when I was in school in America, like people used to first one was this. My name is Lani Pope. Mm -hmm. That thing you're trying to pronounce that pole. Yeah. That sound is not easy. So a lot of people say Lani pole or Lani pole. Yeah. And then from there, one of my roommates is like, Yo, bro, I'm just gonna call you pole. Mm. And then it kind of stuck, you know. Everybody called me poor in school. My family started calling me poor, even my brother and my sister. And then even beyond that, so when I started making music, to me it was just natural to say poor. But um, when I started to release music, and I think when I even signed to Maven, we dropped, started dropping songs. And there was another artist in America called Pope. Oh. This folk singer, this female folk singer. Yeah. And then her lawyer sent an email straight, 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 said, hey, look, this thing that you guys are doing, you have two choices, but continue. And then you get legal action or just change your name. Damn, but to crazy. me, switching to Ladi Po was like a no brainer because it's already yeah, my name, exactly. and I was really kind of saying Ladi Po sometimes. So, so that's when it came from Po to Ladi Po. It's unique anyway, so it works. It works. Yeah, sure. So tell us about how you got signed to Maven. Like, how did that happen? Oh, Maven. Um, at that time, you know, I was, I, was, I was an independent artist for a couple of years. At that point, I was still like you know, working to find my to find my passion. Mm -hmm. At that point in time, it was clear to me it was not a hobby, it was a passion, and I needed to work to fund it. And I, I could only, I, I got it to a certain point, you know, I was dropping music, I released a couple of songs, gained traction, but I knew I wanted to go here, yes. here and here, and to do that, I needed the resources to do that. And you know, I started to entertain the idea of leaving the independent life and be signing to a label, and I got offers from a couple of labels. The main one came from nowhere, it was a friend of mine who was on the label. My mm -hmm. manager called one day, we were really close to say that like, Jazzy wants to sign him. Those kind of phrases are crazy. Right, exactly. Do you understand? <laughs> it was just nuts because I mean, this is Don Jazzy. Right. It's the Don Jazzy. So, like, it, it was a rumor at first, then I saw him and whispers with different people. And then, you know, one day I just, you know, my friend advised me to do something. She was like, email him. Mm -hmm. I was like, why are 
right verse I did in the beginning. It's true. It's true. Oh. I'm, I'm thinking about it. And I feel like Janet, I think the rumor of the story is that he saw me, he heard me on the radio. He says, guy sounds dope, but it sounds like he give me a wahala. Which <laughs> I can't even deny. He says that's not true. But yeah, you know. Really? Yeah, I think, I think for me, I'm Maven, the reason why I chose them over the other the art, the other labels of wahala and I mean, is that Maven, Maven is ambitious and they really wanted to, they saw themselves as, they were big at that point, but they saw themselves as they could be bigger. Mm-hmm. They, they were really aggressive and they really wanted to uh, push beyond the shores of Nigeria, and that's what I wanted to do. Exactly. I wanted to be known at home and known abroad, and, and that kind of like ambition matched mine. Right? Mm-hmm. So we did it. Go ahead. Nice. Yeah. When was the moment that like it clicked in your head, like, yo, like, I'm blown, like, I'm him? Like, Jeez. when did that happen for you? tell you a secret but I don't I think I'm the exact kind of person where that thing will not click okay yeah I don't I don't think that that thing ever clicks for me it's it's always like okay we know we gotta do this though mm-hmm. it's like well that album is fire it's like, yeah, it was fire and I'm so happy it turned out like this but you know this other thing we gotta like yeah. there's always I'll pat myself on the back soon after I do this next thing more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't know, I'm not saying like it's meant to be a good thing, it's just, mm-hmm. it's just a thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's always more to do, but guys, uh, celebrate your accomplishments, 100%. always. So, obviously, after me, who is the artist that you want to work with? <laughs> <laughs> obviously, after you. After me, though, of course. Um, she's right now, I, I used to have lists and lists and lists, but just how my career the direction has gone. I really just lead with how I feel. I don't have any list of anybody I want to work with, but I really love, like this guy just dropped an album. His name is Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, just Friday. Think, I just think Friday's vocal is amazing, and I really love to make like anthemic type music. Mm-hmm. I think that we will we'll go well together to do something for sure. Friday, I know you'll be watching this video. Work with my guy Ladi Po. Did you knew that. Did you knew that. Like. You need to work with him, so let's let's get it done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did you know that I'm a rapper? No, I didn't. Really? I love you said this. You wanna? I wanna hear you. Okay. Do you have a song recommendation or something? What do you mean, like word recommendation for you to rap or a song? Oh, wait, are you saying that you're a rapper? You rap somebody else's song? I mean, I can also freestyle, but I just don't want to do that to you right now. I don't want okay. right. to. I don't want to boast. You don't so, want to boast. So yeah. what are you gonna do for us? I'll rap one of your songs. One of my songs. Yeah, of course. Alright, Dennis. Dennis. You have any recommendations? Hmm. Or maybe should we just do the most recent one? I think you should do the one that. Because if I call something now, okay, let's do the most recent one. Alright, let's do the most recent one. I'm gonna do it over the track because that's what that's what makes sense. Okay. And then you have to rate me I, I from you. one to ten. Be honest. Give me a ten. <laughs> Just be honest. I give you a 10. <laughs> but you know that you know that last year, flight plans, world tour, white fans, five days, me guy man, then the field guy started side plan, boy I roll one, lights up, phone motion. Five cars, clash with the ups like Titan. Oh my that boy so Niger. Let it for the lid, cause you let it for your bad. Yeah. Alright, so what do you give my rapping? Like be honest. First of all, she the funny thing. She started off by saying that she's a rapper. But what you proved, and it's a good thing though, is that you're my fan. Because she she rap, she in freestyle, she just rapped my lyrics. So what are you saying? So a scale of one to ten, how much? I'm a Lani Cole fan. No, but... I'll give her a 15 out of 10. Wow. And I need people like that in my, in my family. This is what is built around. Do you know what I'm saying? Skills of being a rapper will thus to be continued. Well, I think, <laughs> personally... Good. You get a 10. That I get a 1,000. <laughs> but you're, we're all entitled to our opinions. Okay, good. We'll rock them out. So, but like, what is the chances of me getting a song with you? Getting a song with me? Music. No music. What is like getting a verse? Pretty. Pretty high. Pretty high. High? High, high or just high, high. right? Yeah. Like I a 9 out of 10. I heard you can 
smoking New York down the street. <laughs> that, that kind of pie. Kind of pie. Yes. Oh wow. Pretty high. Um, no, it's all love. <laughs> it's all love. Yeah. He actually thinks I'm a little better than him, but he just doesn't want to admit it, which I, is I why we have to. Thank you. I am intimidated. He's kind of intimidated, so he doesn't really want to. I don't really want to invite our shiny on track. Exactly. So that we'll hold off on that for now. We'll do that. But thank you so much <laughs> for coming over. Yeah, we ended off this interview on a high note, very Literally. high. Yes, on a high note. <laughs> on a high note, but you have any secrets for us before you go? Anything coming up next? Um, I know right now I'm working on a project for sure that is sounding very much like the album. Nice. You know, and um, it looks like 2024 for sure. Okay. Yeah, there was some talk about it being this year, but like just to get it to where I need to get it, I need that time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, for sure. And I don't know, maybe maybe some small this year if I can just you know, okay, get back okay. to the person in time but yeah who knows so. alright yeah. thank you so much for coming so, any parting okay. words um, all I want to say is thank you guys so much who support the music and there's really no hope without you but you knew that